Hey folks, you got some of these in your arsenal? The good old UV5R by Bailfang. Pretty handy, cheap, works okay. But I'm going to show you how to make it work better. So hang on. Hey folks, Orlando Prepper coming at you again today. Like I said, the good old UV5R, very affordable and reliable. But there's an easy way to make this radio transmit and receive much better. First thing we're going to do is take that factory antenna off. Then we're going to get us a Nagoya 771. This antenna is tuned for the frequencies in this radio, 2 meters and 70 centimeters. It improves the performance tremendously just by that one change and it's easy to do. But there's an even better way. You add to this and it's going to cost you about probably 17 cents. And it's going to kick up that performance even more. Get you some wire, just some scrap wire. Just a little piece of scrap wire as long as it's copper on the inside. And a little connector for the end of that wire. Let me see if I can get that up there where you can see it. Just a little connector. That's all it is. And we're going to strip this wire down, put that connector on there, and then I'm going to show you what you can do from there. Okay, these are the items you need to make what is called a counterpoise. It's basically a ground for the antenna on the radio. It already has a ground built in. Where the antenna attaches, you'll see right here the gold ring around the outside where the antenna screws on. That's the ground. But it can also be grounded through the screws on the back that run into the frame of the radio. These screws run into that, that small metal frame in there, which is also where this antenna ground is connected. So all we have to do is connect this counterpoise to one of those screws. Okay, you can see a diagram here. And this will uh, I'll put the link below where you can click on this calculator that shows you exactly the length you need for the frequency you're going to be primarily using your radio on. For me, it's 444.075. And as you can see in the link there, excuse me, the diagram, it should be roughly six and one third inches. So we're going to use this tape measure here. And we're going to measure out six and five sixteenths on that wire. That's how long we want this to be. Clip it. That's going to be our counterpoise right there. Very simple, very inexpensive. Take the wire strippers and we're going to strip off about maybe a quarter inch here. Get a good connection on that copper. You can see right there. Take our connector. Slide it right over that. That sleeve on that connector until you see it come out the very end right here. You'll see the tip of that copper come out right there. Then we're going to take our crimping tool and just kind of crimp it up there. You could also solder this if you wanted to to make an even better connection. But that's it. That's how you make it. That's all. So now we're going to connect it to the radio. We're going to back out one of those screws holding that belt clip on. Back it out about halfway. You don't have to take it all the way off. Because the end of your connection is open. You're going to slide it right up under there. 
and then tighten that screw back now. Pull it, make sure it's connected good. It is. That's it. It's that simple to connect that to this radio. Now we're going to use this multimeter to make sure our resistance count between here where the antenna comes on and the end of this is zero. Put your multimeter on the lowest uh, ohm setting you can. I'll put that right there. And we're going to turn this on. And you see what we have when we test it here. It goes down to zero. That's what we want. It goes down to zero. Now, if this is connected right, we should get a zero reading between the end of this cable. We'll put that right in there on that copper. And we'll put it on the ground where the antenna connects to the radio. Let's see what we get. Man, that little, that little wire is giving me fit. But let's see. Oh, what we got here? Zero. It's a perfect reading. We got a zero. You created the counterpoise for this radio, which will increase the distance and the reception. Put your antenna back on. And you're ready to rock and roll. Now there's one other thing with these Baofeng radios you need to make sure of. Now when you program these, right up here in the top left, you'll see either an L or nothing. If there's an L there, you're on low frequency. So to improve your transmission power, the little key or the pound key down here, you just tap it. And that L disappeared. Let me bring this up here and we'll do it again. The L is there, top left, right here. Push it again, the L is gone. Now we're on high frequency for transmission. All right, it's that simple. There it is. That increases the range on this radio tremendously. But like I said, make sure you're always on uh, high power with one of these. I keep mine on low power because it takes less energy out of the battery. Battery will last longer. But then when I get ready to transmit, I hit that little pound key and get up on high frequency. Or high power, I should say. And do my thing. It's that simple. Uh, Mini me, I hope this answers your questions that you ask on my uh, emergency comms video. I'll put a link right up here if you guys want to go to it and check it out. It shows you what I did to improve my comms with my handheld during the height of a storm. So I think you'll find that interesting too. But if you guys have any more ideas, shoot them to me. Anything you want to see me work on here, I'll be glad to do it. I love working on stuff like this. So send it to me whenever you can. I'm going to ask you to do me a favor here, please. Actually, two favors. I'm getting close to that monetization number. That 4,000 hours in a year that a YouTuber has to have to get paid for those commercials. So if you would, please share this with your friends. Uh, click that like button down there. Maybe hit that subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, I'd greatly appreciate that as well. But come on back on Monday night at 8 p.m. That's when I do my live streams. 8 p.m. Eastern Time, every Monday night. Come see me. I think you might have some fun. We have a great group of people. And I'm sure you'll enjoy being a part of them. So with that, I'm going to say stay strong. Stay patriotic. Pray for the United States of America. Orlando Prepper is out.